Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial from the Reaper blog. In this video I will show you how to create an advanced click track. Instead of the standard quarter note metronome, we'll set up a custom loop with 8th and 16th notes, or whatever pattern you want using any samples you want. Of course, you could do this very easily with MIDI instead, but this is the way I like to work. Some of this is similar to the recent video on working with loops, but looking at it in a different way. Let's get started. I have a couple samples already in the project. A kick, a side stick, and a closed hi-hat. The grid is currently on quarter notes, so I'm going to change that to sixteenths. Alright, so now I'm going to shorten these to sixteenths notes. And now I'm going to change the time base for these three tracks to beats position only. Okay, so now let's arrange these into a one bar pattern. Okay, that'll work. Now I have a time selection here for one full bar. Right click in the ruler and select create region from selection. Now with this we can move around this chunk of audio very easily. Uh, we could also copy it very easily. So I'm just going to command click and look for the little plus sign at the end. So we can repeat that a couple times. We can also easily remove these regions by just alt clicking and then by just dragging the edge we can extend the length of the region and copy larger chunks at a time. We don't need the regions anymore. So now that it's filling several minutes let's lock the items to prevent any accidental changes to the patterns. So I'm going to select all that is command A and now we're going to lock them, command L. If we zoom in here, you can see there's a little lock icon. So these cannot be moved in any direction. Now if we change the project tempo, these are automatically going to shift their relative positions. So if I change this to 85 beats per minute, or change it to 160. It automatically adjusts. We can also add in tempo changes. So let's say at bar 11, we add in a, uh, a tempo change, 130. Perfect. Now if we want to change these samples, it's actually really easy. If we want to change this kick drum, we'll just open up the Media Explorer, and let's choose this one here. Right click, select Use as Media Source for Selected Items. If you zoom in here, we can see that these are now a new kick sample. All right, that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe for more videos, check out reaperblog.net, and thanks for watching.